when I have dreams of white sharks, it's usually in water that's dark, hard to see in. I have had dreams where a shark is swimming at me and I've swam at it and scared it off and I don't wake up from those, but the ones that have grabbed onto me and, and bit me, I always end up waking up. I've been making my living diving sea urchins since 1978. I know my wife, when I first started diving out there, I, I knew she was wondering what would happen if something did happen to me and nobody else is on the boat. If I did get bit, the odds of somebody being there to help me are next to nil but uh, it doesn't stop me from doing what I'm doing. I've always been one who's uh, a little hot-blooded, uh, easy to excite, hard to calm down. When I was younger, the downers were my thing. You know, you just mash them down in a spoon and cook them, then strain them through a piece of cotton. When I got those in, I was invincible, or, you know, or theoretically, I, was, I thought I was invincible. Back then, they didn't know it was hepatitis C. They called it non-A, non-B. It doesn't take, uh, it doesn't take a doctor to tell me that it's, it's catching up to me. When the sharks are there, nobody else really likes to dive there, and that's why I like it, because it's such a quiet place. I don't worry about what's going on at home or on land. I like the solitude and the quiet, and, and the sharks definitely help keep the crowds away. I don't deal with day-to-day -day living as easily or as comfortably as I would when I'm diving out there. So when I'm diving with the sharks and, and there's nothing else going on, things are very crystal clear and I'm very content. Sometimes if you run into them and they're a little bit aggressive and you're trying to get some work done, then you, you try and swim at them. And sometimes they'll spook them away where they don't come back. And sometimes they'll loop back around from behind and then they'll come back and check you out again.
sometimes I'm on my hookah, but other times, God knows what I'm breathing. I'm just there. There was times where I had this big, huge lingcod. It was 40 feet long, swimming around, and all the blotchy green and different, like, yellows and colors through it, and it would ripple like a, almost like a snake would move. Like a lot of times I woke up and told my wife these dreams because I, I, I wake up in awe, completely just like, wow. Not being able to make a living out there if the urchin industry stays kind of as it is now, uh, that makes it hard to be out there because you know it's hard to not be out there being productive. beauty of them is um, something that is hard to give up. That's a part that is going to be hard to walk away from diving is those kind of experiences. can almost touch them and they won't even flinch because you're just part of the background they're passing by you but that's not why they came by it's like I was it's like I wasn't even there <laughs> 